Hello and welcome to the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. And in the Faster 7 series today, I'm going to show you how to disable your paging file. Now, you really only want to do this if you have a larger amount of memory on your system. Now, the Windows 7 operating system, I recommend you have to have at least 3 gigabytes to use this tweak. Because if you don't have that much, you do risk random hangups and random lockups when it comes to running programs on it. Now, this is definitely worth the extra investment if you're looking to buy more memory because this does a huge increase in your speed. So let's go down to the Start button and select it so that we can enable this feature or disable it. Let's go to Computer and right-click on it. And we're going to select Properties. Now on the upper left-hand corner of the Properties window, we're going to select Advanced System Settings. And then we're going to go to the tab that's called Advanced up here at the top. And then you're going to select Settings under Performance. And once this comes up, we're going to go to Advanced yet again. And this is going to let us go down to Virtual Memory here and we're going to select change. Now at this point you have an option here to check or uncheck automatically manage a paging file. If it's checked you want to uncheck it and then down here you want to set it to no paging file and then select set. Make sure you do that because it's very important and select OK and then select apply and it's going to prompt you that you have to restart your computer for the changes to take effect and then go ahead and restart your computer. Now for those of you who are concerned about disabling this because if you run out of memory what happens is, is it uses the paging file which is on your hard drive to store programs for swapping memory and things like that. So to monitor how much memory is being used by your computer on common things you do just press control delete and select start task manager when your task manager comes up, you can take a look at your memory here, and it shows how much memory is currently being used. If you want a more detailed layout, layout of how much memory is being used, you can select the resource monitor and select memory. Now, if you leave this open and you go ahead and run applications like you normally do, you can see how much memory is being chewed up. Now, if your memory that's being chewed up gets to above the amount of memory or extremely close to the amount of memory that you actually have on your system, usually not a good idea to disable the page file. Otherwise, if you usually only float around two, two and a half gigs and you have three, four gigs, you don't have any concern in disabling your page file. Now that's all there is to this video. As always, leave comments and ratings. If you have any questions, don't forget you can swing by the forum, uh, post anything there. I'll try to help you out. And hopefully this helped you guys out and stay tuned. I do have uh, quite a few more speed tips to come. Thanks again.